Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to make an interactive video using ThingLink platform. For this interactive video creation, I will use free version. Now let's start by clicking create button. There are many options you can choose from, but for our purpose, we will choose video. Then we upload the video files from our computer. After we uploaded multiple files, they will appear in our content library. Now we select the first video that we want to edit, then click edit and add tag. We can choose different sort of tags, but for now, we will use a tag called create tour. This tag, when clicked, takes the viewer away from the current image and onto the page of another thing link image, video, or 360 image. Use this tag to move from one creation to another. Here we can use different settings for the tag. Now we select scene and select the second video. We can also change the icon of the tag. Now click done. We can drag the tag where we want it to be. Adjust the length of time the tag appears by hovering over the tag in the time bar and clicking and dragging on the yellow bars. Hello students today. Now we are done with this first part of the video. Click done. Go back to content library. Now open the scene to which the tag was created from the first video. Click video number two. Take a look Click at the edit. Pictures. And what now we can add tags to this video. Here, we will also add a tour tag which will lead to the third video. And after we are done, we can continue editing the third video. So now in the third video, we will add three tags. It's Click add tag and select add content from website. This tag allows you to add different third-party or thinglink code to create interactive experiences within the scene. This includes embedding videos from YouTube, Vimeo, or Flipgrid via a link. Here we paste a link to a video. We can check if the tag is working properly. Let us add a second tag. Click Add Tag and select Add Content from Website. Now we will paste a link to a Google Sheet. The third tag will be a tour tag to another scene. After we are happy with this scene, we can return to the content library and open video number four. Here we will also place three tags. One is with video link. Another is text and media tag. And the last one is a tour tag with a conditional transition option turned on. This option allows the viewer to progress only if the question is answered correctly. Fill out the question, options, and the correct answer. Select another scene. You can further make as many scenes as you need for your creation to be complete. After all the scenes and videos are connected, you can test the interactive video by playing the first one. You did great job. Thank you for your attention and participation. Don't forget to evaluate a lesson. If you are satisfied with your creation and would like to share it with others you need to change privacy settings. Select all scenes, click privacy settings and set to public. To share a link to your video, open your first scene and click share. You can share your link in multiple ways. That is all. I hope this video helped you to understand how to use ThingLink for interactive video creation.